Okay, here we are again. This is Brandon, and this is uh, <clears throat> this is me trying to get my voice. This is the first thing in the morning, and this is another video dream log, conscious video dream log. And uh, last night, like I was uh, all over the universe, so to speak. And um, again, you know, the reason for me like sharing this video is uh, is because it's interesting for the people listening, but it's also for me. And and my theory is that the more that I can get into the habit of making videos, excuse me, of making videos like this, um, the better I'll get at it. And sometimes, like, I have to sort of, like, if I, if I put forth that effort to, like, make a video, even when I um, might have a dream where it's not, like, it doesn't feel like it's super, super symbolic, um, it's still an important part of the practice in order to be able to, like, get myself ready for those future dreams that will be super, super symbolic because through the act of, like, writing things down and recording things and using uh, technology as a mirroring device, as an archiving device, um, it, it's going to help, like, evolve the, uh, the dreams that are coming through and my ability to be able to archive them. And so, uh, last night in my dreams, um, it felt like, again, you know, like if, if dreams are so amazing because they can, they can exist in a different place where time is a uh, far, far, far different from how we perceive it here. So it's quite common that you can have dreams that may only take place over a period of like six or seven hours. Yet in the dream space, it can feel like you know, like twenty, thirty, forty lifetimes. It can feel like days. Um, which is an incredibly amazing thing. And so part of what I experienced last night in my dream that was actually really interesting is that I um, found myself at something something similar to a festival, uh, like a consciousness-shifting transformational festival. And those of you who know, uh, this is like something that is, is a part of my reality. I've been to numerous of these festivals, about six of them uh, in total. And... I've had dreams before where I've been at festivals, and, and it's kind of interesting because um, right now, uh, as literally as I'm recording this, um, the Three Days of Light Festival is literally happening right now, like in, in North North Carolina, um, and that was the, the Three Days of Light movie that, that I made a movie of back in 2012 that a lot of you have seen, and if you haven't, I'll just put the links uh, in, in this post as well and the information below, and what was actually interesting, uh, I'll sort of step through this, so there, there's quite a few things that happened within this dream that I can recall, um, and one of the things that happened with this dream that I remember is that, like, I, at one point, so again, these festivals are places where people go to, like, shift their consciousness, they go to, like, celebrate, like, dance and art and creativity and workshops, and to, like, really bring people together, it's like a big spiritual family reunion, and I'm gonna try and talk as effectively as I can and keep this video like under 10 minutes because um my time on like I only have so much memory space but to get right to the point the thing that was really interesting in this is that um I like did like ayahuasca in in my dream or, or at least something something similar to it um my, my dream recall is like not like 100% there but but it, it was something it was something to that degree and there's like a part before there where I was like interacting with like this like little, I'm pretty sure it was like a baby fox, and I'm pretty sure baby foxes have been in my dream before, but I just like remember this part where there was like this, it was like a white little fox, and it was like so smiley and stuff like that, and it was just like a little baby, it was just like, and I was like scratching his chin and stuff, and it was just like really adorable. Um, and and there was like the presence of um, native and then like Aboriginal Indigenous culture, and there I was like near like this the stream of a river or something like that, and and I mean like and and I said like you know like I know I like I'm like I'm like I did ayahuasca in my dream but like I I can remember it but I can't remember it at the same time which is kind of interesting in dreams but for some reason like there's a memory there that's there or at least something to do with like the tree bark or something. Um, and it's like, you know, with dreams, like, it's like, you have them, it's like gold running through your finger, which is why, like, when you want to be able to record them, you want to make sure that you do it, like, first thing in the morning, um, and preferably, like, without, like, getting up out of your bed, 
um, the moment your feet hit the ground, you, you theoretically begin to lose some of this dream. And it's because, you know, I've sort of explained before, but it's like, we have like our waking conscious dream, our waking conscious memory and perception, and then our dream memory and perception. There's like this like bridge between them. And, and that bridge is like such a, or like a cable is so delicate that we want to be able to like meditate on keeping it intact because otherwise it's something that will like just like unplug really easily um and then we like lose that memory but we don't lose it we just lose our connection to it the memory will the memory in the or the experience is always logged it's always there everything that happens in a dream is always recorded in the um you know you could say the akashic field or the akashic record the library of dreams uh, of reality so okay really moving forward through this fast and effectively um and then in the dream at the festival i like ran into several friends who i haven't seen in a really long long time who I never would really think would be the people to go to festivals um it wouldn't be the first choice but then I remember like having conversations with them and I was like oh you're here like like what did you think what was your experience and then like some of them were like oh my god this was amazing you know it changed my life and then like one of them was like yeah it was okay I like kind of got like you know like lost or something and then um it was just really interesting, again, to be able to, like, meet um, old friends. Now, you know, kind of on my previous dream log, when I was talking about meeting with Phoenix, people are, like, people are, like, um, one person commented, and they're just saying, uh, it's interesting because uh, you're one of the few people that will sort of say that the people who you meet in dreams are actual other characters or actual other people. Um, I think it's something that needs to be used with discernment. When we meet other characters in a dream, uh, sometimes it will be, um, an actual separate intelligence or entity and sometimes it will just be a reflection of us it's always going to be a reflection of us but sometimes it's more just like an internal thing coming up where other times it's like receiving that external entity intelligence um, this time it, it, again like with meeting my friends it was probably less about me actually meeting their spirit in the other realms but it was more just like a re an internal reflection um, the conversations weren't like super super deep they were more just sort of like cameos but still it was interesting to see them so um, that was something that happened. Now, um, the ayahuasca part, again, like, I can't fully, fully remember, but um, interacting with the natives, there was something happened there. There was something that, that happened with the, that part of my dream that was interesting. Um, and there could be more of that coming in future dreams. We'll see. Uh, and in terms of, like, a super potent message that came out of these dreams, uh, I, I, it's hard to say what, what message is super potent that came out of this that I'm delivering to you guys, but again, this is part of my dream recall process. It's really for myself, um, at the core to be able to just like do that, but it's also to encourage and inspire you guys to write down your own dreams, to practice your own dream recall, to make your own dream videos. If you got an iPhone or an iPad, film it, record it off that, upload it to YouTube really easily. It's very effective. Don't need a fancy camera. So the other part of my dream that was super crazy though. I was like traveling to like other parts of the universe and it was really interesting. It was kind of like watching a movie, uh, something very sim similar to Interstellar or Star Trek. It felt like Star Trek. It felt like I was watching a Star Trek movie and I was like watching the character, but I was the character. And I just like remember like space travel, like uh, literally in space and it was like very futuristic. And then I was actually on another planet. Um, but again, I was kind of like watching a character. Like I wasn't so much a character. I was like watching this movie. And then this character was, like, on this other planet, and they were, like, stranded. It was, like, on Mars or something. It was, it was really crazy. And they were stranded um, there, and then they were, like, they were actually, like, really frustrated. And they were, like, what the hell? Like, like I'm stuck on this planet. What the hell am I going to do? Like, you know, there's nothing here. There's nothing for me to do. Like, how am I supposed to get out of here? But then they kept on walking and walking and walking, and eventually they found, like, old equipment from previous, like, probes that landed on the planet, and, like, that was, like, their way out. They actually, like, found the technology from, like, other travelers um, that they were able to, like, refurbish and make into something new. And then there was, like, this whole other part where it really felt like... Um, it felt like Guardians of the Galaxy, actually, uh, which is could be symbolic because, I mean, that the symbolism in that movie, I did a whole conscious movie review of that, um, which you can find through my YouTube channel, which I think is, like, really interesting, the symbolism in there, uh, just in terms of us being Guardians of the Galaxy, us being God Guardians of sovereignty and of consciousness and of love and bringing in, you know, like, sort of that Jedi order and balance. Uh, a lot of you, you, you know, you're familiar with the Paradigm Shift Project that we've been doing over the years. Like, this is a big part of that. It's like, you know, bringing that, like, that guardianship, uh, evoking the guardian that was within. Um, but again, like, within this part of the dream, it was really interesting. Uh, and then there was, like, this whole part where there was, like, a big scene from a movie where there are these people who are trying to, like, 
they were like um they were, they were like slave laborers. They almost had like their own like Jawa. Uh, the the big thing from Jawa, the sand crawlers. It was like one of those. It was in the dream, but it was like different. It was really interesting. And then there was this huge fight scene that broke out, and there were these like sci-fi characters, and one of them was like this a big like amorphous like spike shaped blob that could change shapes and everything. And again, so like I was like the character, but I was watching this. Um, it was just super amazing and super interesting and really real. Um, and again, you know, like part of the experience is that part of the value that I get from these dreams is that, you know, throughout the day, I can think back on my dream and I'm not just like, oh, that was a cool dream. It, for me, it's just like that was an actual experience uh, because that's the thing. It, it, these experiences, regardless of whether they're in this dimension or the dream dimension, they're still capable. They still have the potential to, to give us the opportunity to learn, to teach our spirit. So... I'm gonna wrap up this video just because uh, my heart. I don't want it to stop like mid sentence as as I as I run out of space on my iPad. Um, but there was a uh, yeah that that was pretty much what happened or at least what I can remember in my dreams. The ayahuasca being at a festival, something with that little spirit fox, which is really cool. The natives traveling through interdimensional space, going through other planets, going and like landing there, finding equipment from like previous uh, people who have landed there. To quick finish, uh, yeah, I had to like you know ran out of space, stop my video delete some stuff now I'm back but just to conclude this really encouraging and reminding you guys to um, reflect on the importance of dreams dreams are there to teach us we are students in both dimensions at the same time and if we can learn in the dream we can learn here then we can learn together and it's evolving our spirit it's evolving our consciousness it's waking our consciousness it's delivering us messages and maybe you're going to have a super important message within your dream that you're going to be able to deliver uh, and share on the internet so you can do that totally through the live net website paradigmshiftcentrallive.com that is a place for you to keep a record of your digital journals, whether they be synchronicity logs, dream journals, quest adventures, anything like that, that you want to be able to share with the global audience, please do. And really just um, simple, simple tips. Uh, sort of clear the clear the junk off your radar dish, clean up your river, um, remove things like, you know, just like try not to eat too much before going to sleep at night. That will help you remember your dreams. Try to meditate before going to sleep. Try to get a decent sleep. Try to avoid smoking marijuana uh, and cannabis. Uh, sometimes like for most people that will cloud your dream recall and um, just like exercising and, and really just work on those things and putting forth the research and the study towards dreams and doing reality checks during the day. Check, are you awake right now? Eventually, one of these videos that I'm going to make, I'm going to be like lucid and that's what I'm working towards. In these dreams, I wasn't fully lucid. I was there, but I wasn't fully lucid. I wasn't aware that I was dreaming. When I get aware that I'm dreaming, you can create within the dream because the lesson is that when you realize that you can create instantaneously within those dreams, you realize that this is a dream too and then you realize that our thoughts are constantly creating within this reality, but time is a little bit different and that is a lesson that I'm constantly, constantly, constantly reminding us of to remember that we are dreaming right now and you're always going to be dreaming but it's just a matter of whether or not you are awake so are you dreaming right now and if you are which you are double check are you awake bring your awareness back to the self so this is brendan thank you so much for watching this video check out more content from other people in the community on the live net website and much love and i'll see you guys in the future and um yeah keep it shifty peace out